Hello class, this is Robert Smith coming at you from uh, application deployment one and this is my milestone two update. Uh, this week I implemented some more features into uh, my application. I added a uh, fake call screen and I'm going to show that off to you right now. Um, so, let's turn. So, uh, got my iPhone here. This is the launch screen for the application. Uh, the first milestone uh, feature that I added was at, during the uh, add SMS screen that I created last week. If the user selects the select a contact um, button, uh, the contacts list will show up. And then if they select a contact, the contact's first name will appear in the sender's name. So, yeah, and uh, same goes. This is my uh, fake call screen. Uh, by default, dad is entered into the ca caller's name if the user doesn't want to spend the time to add a caller's name. So um, the user will press the select contact and then they can pick a uh, any contact and then the first name will appear in the caller's name and then they will select a delay and uh, once they hit the call me button an alert will appear to let the user know that uh, the screen is about to turn black uh, to cancel simply swipe right from the left edge of your screen so the user hits OK the screen goes off um, well a black view appears yeah. and then selecting the accept button uh, has a timer appear to make it look like you're on the phone and then hitting the decline button uh, pops that view off um, so it also vibrates as well as uh, rings and then uh, if the user were to select another contact um, and then uh, selects a delay for 10 seconds and then hits uh, call me they can uh, hit the cancel button to cancel or they can also hit the OK button during this black screen if they swipe it will pop back to the table view controller so uh, those are the uh, features that I implemented this week. I I, um, I hit all of them. Um, the uh, extra stuff that I'm going to add since we have some more time, I'm going to add a. Uh, I might um, add some more ringtones and give the user the option to select a ringtone, and also add an image picker that will. That's going to be challenging because um, in iOS 7, the image um, shows up as a, uh, a circle. And uh, I want to give the user the ability to take a picture, but in order to do that, the, it has to be a customized uh, camera in the uh, UI image picker controller. So I'll see about doing that. Um, but it, uh, I, don't, I don't know about it. That might, be, uh, that might be challenging, so we'll see. But I have plenty of time to figure it out. So uh, the only other thing I was thinking about, instead of just giving them the option of 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, or 60 seconds, uh, adding a date uh, picker to allow them to maybe schedule something uh, five minutes in the future. Uh, so um, the only problem is that they're, you know, they'd have to keep their screen black for that five minutes. So um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but everything uh, went well. Couple hiccups in the code. Couple. Um, I had a crash uh, that involved uh, if the user were to go through there and then cancel, um, that segue would still fire to go to the um, the phone screen. But it was trying to go to the phone screen from this screen, and there's no segue from there. So I had to add it, some conditionals to cancel that segue if uh if the user backed out so that was uh that was an issue and uh it, fixing it wasn't the issue figuring out why it was 
uh, crashing. It was giving me some kind of cryptic error that was hard to figure out, so that was a pain. But other than that, um, pretty easy week. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in a hangout in a few weeks.